will do. It's Wonderful Wednesday. Hey, hey, hey. Why is it wonderful? Oh, friends, today it is time for arms and shoulders. Start out with some shoulder work right here. Then we'll go ahead and get our arms bent like this. And we're just going to pull back, try to touch our shoulder blades together. Very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, get another set of those coming up. You'll notice when I do that, the arms are bent, but they stay here. They don't continue to move up like a curl. What's going on is I'm using my shoulders, concentrating on those shoulders to kind of pull back and touch. And that's what we're looking at there is trying to get those shoulders developed. Shoulders are one of the best parts of that joint. Remember, when you work one muscle, you're actually working the opposing muscle as well. So when you're working your shoulders, you're working both the front and the rear and the side. Three heads to the shoulder. So you'll be working the front, the front and the back and the side, the top. Uh, when you do that, you're making sure that you get a good balance in there that the muscle is developed correctly. Uh, if you overdevelop the front or the rear of the shoulder, you will have some problems because the, bo the bones, the joint itself, will be pulled in the wrong direction or will be pulled toward. You're supposed to balance that joint and make sure that it works properly. Uh, it's like having all the tires properly inflated on your car. If you got one low tire, the car doesn't ride right. It can cause a lot of problems besides just tires. Let's get the rest of these done. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. Now, on to biceps today, of course. And biceps, pretty easy exercise. What you want to do when you're doing biceps on a total gym is you want to make sure that you've got a full extension on your arms. Keep your hands twisted over like this or over like this, but you don't want your hand like this or she start out. Well, okay, if you do this, here's what goes on. You have to twist and pull up. Now, a lot of that energy has to be transmitted by the forearm in order to complete that exercise. If you're looking to emphasize the biceps, keep your wrist turned like this. That way, the majority of the effort is on the bicep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14 and 15. Now, the important thing about that is to concentrate on what you're doing. You have to actually think about your biceps doing the work. A little different at first, but once you get used to it, you'll feel the effort and you'll see what I mean. The effort becomes very, very fluid and very, very easy to do in terms of concentration. The higher up you set this post, when I talk about levels of the uh, total gym, this post is sitting at the very top. Number seven, you see this little pin that's in here. And that pin determines where this sits. Now, there are six holes below that where you can sit this total gym. And if you're a beginner, you're just starting out, if this is more weight than you want to put on it, then by all means, start at a lower level. I like the upper level, gives me more of a challenge, but that doesn't mean you have to be there. You can be uh, yeah, level 4, level 5, level 3, and for beginners, hey, that's what level 1 is for. Get you started out, once you start out at 1, hey, you got it, you're feeling comfortable, you're not feeling challenged, move up to number 2. Okay, now, again, back straight, 
Arms extended. Turn my wrist up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do triceps. I'm going to turn around for those, so I'm going to end this here. But uh, just want to let you know, hey, stay motivated, stay with it. By all means, stay strong. You have a blessed and a wonderful day.